Thank you. So um, it's uh, you know with that that we um, start um, the program. Uh, Save International, as many of you know, started uh, about 20 years ago. Actually, we're about to celebrate our 20th anniversary um, of serving here in the United States. Um, we have 47 chapters across the country and over 5,000 volunteers that serve society in the same way that the Bay Area chapter uh, supports. Um, the local communities. Um, and so we're very happy today to kind of take you through the projects the Bay Area chapter has been a part of. We'll start the program with a short video uh, to take you through not only what the Bay Area chapter is doing, um, but it's representative of what's happening across the country. Sewa International is a Hindu faith-based organization dedicated to
Good evening, everyone. A little more energy. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Namaste. My name is Anurag Meral, and I'm the president of Bay Area Chapter. And with me is my co-host today, uh, Ms. Rakhi Strani. Starting with that introduction. <laughs> Ms. Rakhi Strani, who is uh, our national uh, coordinator for, for marketing. Uh, we have an amazing program for you, uh, technology uh, challenges notwithstanding. Um, uh, we have a, a number of uh, entertainment programs. We have uh, wonderful videos that highlight our work. Um, and most, of, most importantly, we have some amazing speakers and guests who will be sharing their thoughts. Um, uh, for instance, we have uh, Ambassador Marco uh, Samaneta from Israeli uh, Consulate uh, here. Let's just do a big round of applause. You, you will be hearing from him uh, around the dinner time, uh, so you have to be patient for that. But we have uh, a couple of keynote speakers that are coming up. Um, you know, what you saw up here on the, on the uh, screen, uh, the video, it's a really small <laughs> snippet of the work we do. The, the amount of work, uh, the extent of work, the engagement that we have with the community across the US is pretty substantive. And Bay Area happens to be one of our, our largest chapters. There are five, you saw the tree diagram with five pillars. It's actually on, on, the, uh, uh, on the standee over there. Those five areas are really key areas of our interest in the Bay Area, really focusing on the needs of the underserved community. Uh, disaster relief is obviously where we have spent a lot of our time and built a lot, built a lot of our expertise, uh, whether it's fires or floods or earthquakes or, or even COVID-19, which was sort of a uh, disaster in itself. Um, but we also serve families in distress. Uh, we focus on educational inequity, uh, serving um, middle school and, and elementary school students who are um, uh, in underserved school districts, tutoring them, which you'll hear about a little later. Uh, we also uh, focus on food security. Uh, there are, believe it or not, in the Bay Area, even though there's a lot of wealth, there's a, there are a lot of people who are fairly food insecure. Um, during COVID-19, we distributed 4.2 million pounds of food, and it was amazing uh, the, the, the types of people that actually ended up uh, coming to us uh, for that assistance, uh, folks that you would normally not assume uh, are food insecure. There's a lot of stigma around it. And then uh, one of our latest programs in health and wellness, uh, which again uh, assumed a lot of uh, significance during COVID-19, but something that we have continued to build upon. And you'll hear about all of that on your tables. Let me do a couple of quick uh, uh, mentions of things that you have. On your table are displays which have uh, some of the impact of our work. Uh, there's a menu of our food, the food that you're gonna have today. Um, there are these table topics. During the dinner, we're gonna put you to work. We're gonna make you discuss some important topics uh, that, that we are engaged with. And you have uh, SEVA volunteers on your tables, in each of your tables, who'll help facilitate that. And of course, this is a fundraising dinner. So uh, we have uh, SEVA volunteers also facilitating any pledges that you might have. Um, but more about that in a bit. But let me, let me begin by inviting two amazing speakers from the Jewish community. There's a reason why we are hosting this event at this amazing facility, um, Oshman Family Jewish Community Center. This is Hanukkah time. This is um, uh, also a very difficult time for the Jewish community with whom we've worked quite a bit. We actually did a fundraiser for victims of October 7th uh, a few weeks back, um, and um, uh, we have done a lot of work together, and we hope to enhance that work as we go forward. So that was one reason, a clear symbol of our partnership. And then our speakers, um, two, two speakers that we have today are also from Jewish community background. Um, let me invite uh, Rabbi um, uh, Serena Eisenberg and um, Mr. Barry um, uh, Kramer, uh, to come up here on the stage. Uh, uh, Rabbi uh, is going to light up the menorah, and then we're going to hear uh, some comments from, from Barry after uh, some songs. He's going to speak first, and then I'll... Oh, okay. Wonderful. Uh, Barry, the floor is yours. Namaste. Uh, as you know, this is a difficult time for the Jewish people. Uh, but there have been some bright lights in the darkness, just like the lights of Diwali and Hanukkah that illuminate the night. 
And one of these bright lights is the support we've received from the Indian community, and especially from those of you who came here today to our community center to show your friendship. Thank you. Uh, that said, um, I want to and need to first talk about the darkness, then the light, and then the opportunity for a better future. Recent months have been horrific for the Jewish people. One level of darkness was October 7th. And I want to be clear, this battle is not a border dispute. This is not about politics whether it would be best if the Palestinians one day have their own state, which I personally would like to see. This is about an evil ideology that needs to be eliminated. And in that regard, I want to acknowledge that it was almost 15 years ago, almost exactly 15 years ago, that the same ideology that was responsible for October 7 um, committed the atrocities in Mumbai, Mumbai on November 26. We remember. There's a second level of darkness. It's the darkness we're seeing on American college campuses, on European streets, on social media, and sometimes even from government officials. It's the rallies and actions supporting the destruction of the only Jewish state in the world. This raises deep-seated concerns in the hearts of Jews concern that history is repeating itself. So there's a lot of darkness out there. But now I want to talk about the light. One beacon of light is that the Jewish people are united and are determined to prevail. And the second beacon of light is that we have good friends. We have the United States, the world's oldest democracy, and India, the world's largest democracy, standing by our side. And this means a great deal. And perhaps most relevantly to this discussion, we appreciate all the help that the local Indian community has showed, shown to us during these difficult times. It warms our heart to see rallies being held in support of Israel and local Indian communities, and funds being raised to help those Israeli communities ravaged on October 7. We appreciate your help in lobbying government officials in support of Israel and against anti-Semitism, in encouraging students and professors to support us on college campuses, in posting support on social media, and in learning about the conflict so you can help correct misinformation. In many ways, this isn't surprising. The Jewish people and the Indian people have much in common. Ancient traditions, devotion to family, the importance of education, the recreation of their ancient nation in the late 1940s when the British left, a belief in democracy and the determination to fight terrorism and very importantly, a commitment to help others, the less fortunate. <laughs> to make the world a better place. In Judaism, we refer to this as tikkun olam, our obligation to repair the world. And of course, that is the goal of your organization, an organization devoted to helping others when, when disaster strikes to improving education, to helping combat, combat COVID, and so much more. And while times are difficult now, we know that an important part of the way to defeat darkness is through kindness and charity, by setting an example for others to follow. So I hope that we will take this opportunity to commit ourselves to working together towards the, wo towards the goal of repairing the world. And to this end, we need to commit to build bridges between our communities, especially here in Silicon Valley, where we are both so active in the tech community, and to learn more about each other's history and culture. We should encourage our scientists and universities to work together 
to create new technologies that can benefit humanity, to improve our water and food supply, to fight disease, to protect the environment. We should encourage our charitable organizations to work with each other to improve effectiveness. We should encourage our schools to work together in educating our youth so we can assure that our common values will be passed on to our future generations. And we should strategize on how we can work together with other groups who share our values and goals. So there's much to do, but I'm confident we can do it. In fact, we must. So let me end with a traditional Hebrew saying, which we use even in the toughest times. L'chaim to life. Thank you. Namaste. Shalom. Uh, again, I'm Rabbi Serena Eisenberg. That was an extraordinary uh, remarks by uh, Barry Kramer. He's part of our American Jewish Committee board. And I'm delighted that we're here with Ambassador Marco and that Priya had invited us and was called to the government in India. So uh, I'd like to invite up Ambassador Marco and Nandini and Barry to help me light the candles for Hanukkah. Some of you know that Hanukkah has some similarities with Diwali. Diwali is celebrated for five days, Hanukkah for eight days. Uh, on both, we are sharing a message of light being greater than darkness, of hope being more powerful than despair. Hanukkah celebrates over 2,200 years ago when the Jews who had been indigenous in the land of Israel uh, had been overcome by a Syrian Greek army. The Syrian Greeks des desecrated our holy temple in Jerusalem, but a mighty band of liberators among the Jewish people came and defeated a mighty army. And so they came to Jerusalem to rededicate their holy temple. They only had enough oil to last one day. And that wasn't enough. It was going to take eight full days to rededicate the temple. The miracle of Hanukkah is that even just having one little bit of oil, they lit their candle anyway, knowing that they were going to just have to operate on faith. That sometimes there's so much darkness, there's so much uncertainty, we don't feel that we have enough. And yet, we still have to go forward, bringing light to the world, knowing that light, again, will prevail over darkness. So that's a little message about Hanukkah. I'm going to sing the blessing, and, um, and then I'll invite our guests to light. We um, start the first night with one candle, and then each night we increase the light. And so we're on the third night of Hanukkah. We light the first new night first, so we'll start with this one. And um, you may wonder, well, what, why is there, are there four candles? So the middle candle is called the shamash. Uh, that comes from the Hebrew word, word shemesh, for sun. And also, the, it's the same root as the word servant. So this light makes me think of all of you. This is the helper. This is the servant. This is the light who is not diminished by all that they give to the world, bringing greater brightness. So with that, we'll light the shamash and then light the Hanukkah candles. Not only technical difficulties. <laughs> All right, we'll do the blessing first. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kitshanu BaMitzvotav Vitzivanu LeHadlik Ner Shel Chanukah. There are two blessings. I'll translate that one. This first one was thanking God for giving us the commandment to light the holy lights of Chanukah. 
And here's the second blessing. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, she'asa nisim lavoteinu, bayamim ha'ahem, ba'azman ha'zeh. Thank you for the opportunity to experience a miracle, both in days of old and in days to come. And we all say amen. I'm going to take the uh, advantage of the opportunity that this wonderful um, uh, practice actually uh, allows me. I'm going to invite Honorable Ambassador to share a few words um, on, on this occasion. Honorable Ambassador. Thank you very much. And good evening. I will be sharing more thoughts later on. I just wanted to say for me, um, the first question that comes to mind is why did I wait so long? I've been here 16 months. Uh, to meet uh, the Indian community. Uh, I'll tell you a little secret. I've been a career diplomat for 30 years. My first assignment as a young diplomat with a lot more hair uh, was in Mumbai. So I have a very strong connection and a very, thank you, and uh, a very, uh, I mean, my, my life in Mumbai for two and a half years impacted me very much. I have a lot of appreciation for the Indian nation and uh, to Indian people. Uh, I grew up next door to an Indian family of B'nai Israel from Mumbai. So I knew the name Amitav Bachan before I knew the name Indira Gandhi, okay? <laughs> um, and uh, I'm very delighted to be here tonight. I thank you uh, for inviting me and I look forward to meeting you and to uh, sharing more of my thoughts later on. Thank you. Thank you. That was very wonderful to see the, the, the un unity or the unification of both the Hindu and the Jewish communities. Uh, the idea that um, Mr. Kramer had mentioned about Tikkun Olam is very similar to our own Hindu philosophy of Vasudeva Kutumbukam, uh, or the idea that we all have a duty to serve society uh, for the betterment of humanity. Um, and that's something that we're very happy to have our Jewish friends here today as we light the la lamps of both cultures to eradicate uh, the suffering or illnesses or the, the negativity in the world, to bring uh, more goodness, not only for ourselves and our families, but for the community and the world around us. Um, and I hope that this, that this is a growing relationship, the tragedies that have happened, that we should only become stronger, not only ourselves, but that we should work together to make um, everyone happy uh, or healthy. So with that, actually, we just wanted to kind of slowly take you through some of our projects uh, in the next um, hour and a half. Um, and we're going to start with two of our, uh, well, a few of our programs um, that are more related to the youth uh, in, in the uh, here, well, it started in Houston. We have a program called Aspire. Uh, I think uh, Anuraji had, had mentioned it earlier. The Aspire is something that where we go into some of the underserved schools and tutor or work with the kids that don't have resources otherwise, you know, to help them progress through school. Uh, and then we also have a program called LEAD, where we engage a lot of the younger generation and teach them the importance of serving society. It's called, uh, and, and we actually have videos on both of these. And then the, se the next thing I'll mention, or the third project I'll mention, we have a video that will cover all three of these, is our uh, work to help those who are suffering, uh, not, I mean, more than physically, but mentally, um, that are going through certain challenges right now. Uh, we have a project here in the Bay Area that has helped over 1,600 people uh, but let me, let's run the video and then um, we can talk a little bit more about them after that. St. 
Hollywood Bay Area's Fire Team provides after-school tutoring and homework help for children from underserved communities. It aids in reducing gaps in education and the districts we chose to serve have a diverse population of low-income and homeless families. Volunteers work with students at the elementary level stimulating curiosity and providing help needed for a strong foundation. Almost 400 students were part of Aspire in two elementary schools Schilling and Lincoln Elementary in the Newark School District. A seven-week summer school program was run in partnership with Think Together offering an enriching experience. It was led by 46 volunteers who offered their training skills to over 400 students. Various enrichment programs were offered including robotics, arts and crafts, and science experiments showcasing Aspire's commitment to providing holistic learning opportunities. SIWA's pioneering efforts have been instrumental in revolutionizing education in the Newark School District through our dynamic after-school and summer programs. Building on our proven success, we are thrilled to announce the recent attainment of an AmeriCorps grant, propelling Aspire to scale our initiatives for an even more significant impact. With the invaluable support of SIWA and the AmeriCorps grant, Aspire has expanded its team, welcoming six new members. Aspire's vision extends beyond academic excellence, encompassing comprehensive, holistic development. Plans are underway to introduce enrichment programs in robotics, mental wellness, and art and crafts. Additionally, we aim to prepare students for competitions like Geography B and FLL, fostering a well-rounded skill set and a passion for learning. Addressing children's well-being transcends the classroom. Aspire is committed to actively engaging parents in the educational journey, recognizing the importance of a collaborative approach. Initiatives like holiday food drives and community outreach programs further demonstrate our dedication to the overall well-being of the community we serve. In conclusion, Aspire's unwavering commitment to transforming education, fostering holistic development, and actively contributing to community well-being stands as a testament to our mission. With the steadfast support of SIWA, the AmeriCorps grant, and our dedicated team, we eagerly anticipate making a lasting impact on the lives of students in the Newark School District. a youth engagement program for high school students. We believe in motivating and inspiring youth to be great role models who can make a positive difference in this world. The adult mentors strive to create opportunities and connections so they can discover the leader within themselves. Children thrive when they have caring and supportive adults in their lives, and the Lee Bay Area Adult Mentoring Team offers an outstanding way to foster such relationships. Design to Lead is a national-level initiative offered as part of the LEAD program spearheaded by the Bay Area team and fosters almost 250 students across all U.S. SEWA chapters. The focus of this program is to use design thinking methodology to identify and solve the community's unmet needs and is taught by Professor Anurag Merrill from Stanford University. SEWA youth stepped up in many ways to help communities in need. We are so proud of all our youth leaders for their involvement and for making a difference in someone's life. And Santa Clara also, um, there are thousands, tens of thousands of boxes that were distributed to Santa Clara that really made a big difference in the River of Life Christian Church. Thank you very much for that. And thank you so very much because you help the seniors, the needy, who are connected, and you stop the seniors.
Thank you. Uh, thanks for that applause. But it's really applause of the work of the work that our volunteers do, and uh, the work that our partners do with us. We have a number of uh, uh, senior officials and partners here in the room. I can't name everybody, but let me, I just wanted to call out a few of our dignitaries uh, that are here. Uh, may I request you to turn off your phones or put them on silent, please, if that's okay? Um, so let me just quickly read out the names of some of the uh, dignitaries. If you can just wave your hand or stand up, that'll be wonderful. Uh, Jay Boyarski, uh, who is from our Santa Clara County DA's office. Uh, he is second in command for uh, um, DA Jeff Rosen. Uh, Murli Srinivasan, who is the Sunnyvale City Council member. Um, hopefully you're in the, in the audience. He just left, okay. <laughs> uh, we have Sanjeet Singh Dangji, who is our, our Board of Advisors member. Um, Sachinji, Raju Reddiji, and Sandeep ji. We also have Ajay Bhutoria ji, who's uh, on the President's Commission on OP. And um, uh, committee leaders Sujata Zoshi and Dilip Amin. We also have a, a media uh, leader uh, who, um, uh, who has come all the way from DC actually to attend this, uh, Lalit Jha, Lalit Jha Ji. Thank you. Um, I would like to pull that slide up that talks about those two programs. We call them the big rocks. You know, there's so many different things that SEVA is involved in, but we also needed to figure out what are the things that we want to prioritize in 2023 and 2024. And there are two programs that have gotten a lot of our attention and a lot of our uh, resources. Uh, in fact, those are the, the programs that also uh, were supported by our partner organization called AmeriCorps. AmeriCorps is this national organization that funds uh, and supports a lot of community work. Um, these two programs that are, that are focused on um, Aspire, which is really tutoring for the uh, children in elementary and middle school in the underserved school districts, and um, uh, the mental health program that you just heard about, um, those are the two programs that uh, uh, AmeriCorps uh, funded, uh, announced the funding earlier this year, uh, to the tune of $1.2 million together, uh, which is a phenomenal um, uh, award for us. It's a first of its kind for any diaspora organization working closely with a national organization like AmeriCorps. Uh, but it does have a requirement. The requirement is that SEVA actually support uh, uh, or co-fund part of it. So in the year one, we co-fund 25% of it. Year two, we co-fund 50% of it. And then year three, we fund 75% of it. So you can see how, and ultimately the goal is to make it self-sustaining beyond that. Um, so there is support, there is funding for this work, and it involves uh, hiring a team of uh, uh, counselors and advisors and, and uh, uh, tutors, uh, but we also have to support that through, through our own funding. So in this first round of uh, fundraising call today, I would like to actually um, uh, bring you all in, in action. You all have pedals. Can I see your pedals? Um, uh, do you see the, the pedal that was given to you when you registered? Yeah, I can see that, those numbers. So the way this is going to work, and, and Seva doesn't do this usually, by the way, so we're we going to try this out. Let's see how well we do this. Um, the goal for fundraising is uh, about 750000 overall, out of which we were able to raise about $350,000 earlier this year. And as we are planning for this banquet, we started getting pledges from our, our longtime donors, champions, and supporters. And I'm very happy to say that we have been able to get pledges worth almost $150,000. So big round of applause for all our donors and supporters um, for getting us there. But we're only halfway there. So hope we can make a lot of progress today. Uh, we have until the end of the year to really close that, that gap. Uh, but let's see if we can close some of that gap today. Um, so you can see the amount of money that we are really looking to raise uh, today for those two programs, $150,000 each. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, go through an amount, and I'm going to see how many folks uh, raise their pedals. Let's start with the highest amount uh, uh, at the level of $50,000. Who would like to uh, commit to $50,000 uh, in support of this program? And I would like to say that there has been one pledge that has been made uh, at the beginning of this program. Um, 
for $50,000. So the, the, the person wants to be anonymous. So let's do a round of applause for, for that, that uh, person. I don't want to give away the gender either. Um, but let's see, um, uh, $25,000. Can we see any? Oh, there's another one for 50K. Thank you. That's wonderful. So we are, we're making good progress here. That's awesome. Um, can, can I see a, a pedal raise for 25,000? Any folks for 25,000? 25,000, one? 25,000, two? No, 25,000? How about $10,000? $10,000? I don't have a pedal, Okay. So we should get him a pedal. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, what's your name? Vivesh Sakdev ji, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Uh, any other ten thousand dollars? So we have a uh, hundred twenty Sachin ji, um, ten thousand dollars. One more, hundred fifty. That's amazing. Uh, what's your name, sir? Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> one fifty. <000. laughs> so ten thousand dollars. Any, any more? That's wonderful. Thank you so much. I guess I, I got a career here. I, do, I should leave my academic role and just do this. Um, and any other, any other folks, 10,000? Actually, I don't have a pedal, but I'll, I'll raise my, my hand as well. I'll contribute $10,000 as well. Um, so that's wonderful. I'm adding, doing math in my head. Uh, I'm supposed to be, as an Indian, I'm supposed to be good at this. Uh, so we, we made, made a lot of progress already, 140K uh, in, since the beginning of this, this banquet. Let's do $5,000. Any, any, anybody wants to raise their pedals for $5,000? Uh, Raju Reddy, Reddy G, 117. Uh, do you want to mention your name, 194? Uh, Ananda and Shubha. Ananda and Shubha, Shubha uh, hundred. Uh, uh, <laughs> I like that, $5,000. JNG, $5,000, thank you, JNG. Um, awesome, I like the music, that's, that's energetic. A any other 5000 I know, that's, that's a good energy here. 5000 any more 5000 5000 one, two, three, all right. Uh, $2,000, any $2,000? Those of you who have uh, bought the tables, that ca counts as that, so you can raise your pedals for that. There you go, 202, 205, uh, 196, thank you, 179. So I'm hoping people are taking notes. <laughs> so, uh, volunteers, you're taking notes, right? Okay. Um, oh, 103, 103. Okay, all right, 2,000, any more 2,000? All right, so we're gonna go down to $1,000. I promise just a few more minutes and we're gonna, we're gonna end this. So $1,000, 132, uh, Priya, Lauren, uh, who else? $1,000. Uh, what's the pedal number, do you have a pedal number? No, that's, that's, that's your, your table, $1,000. Uh, 195. 195, what, uh, what's, the, what's your name, sir? Anand, thank you, uh, $1,000. Okay, all right, um, oh, one more. Oh, what's your name? <laughs> I can't see it, light, light is too bright. Yash, thank you, Yash, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, yeah, we can, let's go. All right, so uh, may I have Sudhaji come up on the stage? Uh, we'll just do one last round, and then I want to actually invite Sudhaji for a wonderful uh, reflection on some of the work that we have done. It'll, it'll show you where, the, you where your money is going. Actually, we have made a lot of progress, and I stopped counting after uh, I did $10,000, so I think we made a lot of progress today. Um, let's do one last round, $500. Any, any $500? Uh, thank you, Gauruji. Any finer dollars? Any more? <laughs> okay, wonderful. So, Sudhaji, please come up. Uh, uh, let's do a, a microphone for you. I think there will. Hello, hello. Yeah. Sudhaji, why don't you come up on the middle? You, you need, need to be in the middle. So, Sudhaji has been 
uh, a major find for Seva this year. I'm going to have her tell her story first and then talk about the work she's, she's been doing. She is a very senior professional who quote unquote retired. She thought she was going to have it easy after, she's very young by the way, but, uh, uh, but she decided to retire because she, I guess she wanted, she had other plans. And then she came across Seva and she was very excited by the work we do. And we invited her to join our team. She thought it was going to be something light initially. And very quickly, her skills and her de dedication and her commitment made us uh, request her to take more role, a bigger role on. And uh, really proud to say that she has been deeply engaged with both of these programs. And it's been a, it's been a joy to work with her. She's very organized. She's very uh, disciplined. She's got amazing management skills. Uh, so Daji, why don't you talk about your experience, what, you are, what you're doing, the work that you've done, and your experience so far. Namaste, everyone. Um, I'm actually very humbled to come here uh, because this was not planned. Actually, one of the school district person was going to come and talk about the school, but unfortunately, last minute, they just texted me that they had a family emergency, so I'm covering for them. But this program is very near and dear to my heart. So any time of the day, if you wake me and ask me to talk, I would love and be excited to talk about this program. So thank you, everyone. And it was outstanding to see people raise the card for the ask. And uh, I am truly blessed uh, to be part of the organization. I think it's a calling. And working with wonderful, wonderful people here. Everyone's professional. They're actually making me feel like an underachiever now, but still does quite significant amount of work for SEVA. With that, I'm gonna dive into both the program and just introduce them uh, real quickly. I think you've seen the video. Um, just to give a little bit background, I am very new to SEVA, started only since July. It's been a long time now, uh, seems like five months. But um, we were in the middle of the grant when I took over the program. Uh, we had to write the thorough explanation. I am amazed by the thoroughness of the federal government keeping a check on us, trying to go through the detail and holding us accountable for every step of the way to run through this grant. I would love to ask our staff who is here through AmeriCorps to stand up. Um, I think we were very lucky to find dedicated teachers and dedicated uh, mental health community liaisons who are here in the room, please do stand up. Um, we couldn't have done the program successful without. I think they're all sitting in the, that corner of the room. And I see <laughs> calm representative Uttaraji is also here somewhere. Please do stand. Oh, there she is. She's in the front. Outstanding teachers who are all professional by their role. One of the key things we could do as part of this program is to tap into non-traditional roles and try to bring in, we have software professionals, we have veterans, we have community college students who are part of this program, and we also have after-school teachers who are very passionate about this particular role. I think what we have done is really more than talent, I say, is the passion. So that's what is going to help us. Um, every day is a blessing for us to be with these kids. We have more than 400 kids across three schools. Uh, we do intervention program. We do after school program, which means we are there from 9 to 6 in these schools. These are uh, ESL schools called English as a Second Language School. So they're primarily Spanish and English is the one that they're struggling. Now, why are kids all of a sudden struggling could be the question. I think COVID is to be something that's the reason. What we are seeing in the schools are kids are about two years delayed in their regular curriculum. So that's where they need this extra push because they don't have anyone at home to give them that mental push. Now, um, coming to the mental wellness program, we are mainly an academic program. We really teach people. We have a goal to target of 1,600 people across eight cities. What we are really trying to do is run 80 plus workshop. Workshop is the place where we bring in people like you and me who will sit there and try to learn so we can be proactive about mental health. So that's the big value add. Now the second thing is we also teach them not just the 
curriculum, not just a the theory aspect of it. We try to educate the practical aspect of it. Where we run hiking, we run yoga classes, we teach them meditation, we teach them. We are doing a lot of workshops in schools, in the communities, in the senior centers. I had never been to senior center in this country. I am super surprised to see there are three previous senior centers even in our own community. It was really an outstanding experience to go there, pitch them the idea, talk to these people to tell, hey, where we could really make a difference. So um, there is community just welcomes us. You go talk to the council member, you go talk to the DIA, you go talk to the dean of a community college. They are out there telling, we will help you. Just tell us how can we help you. It is really encouraging for us to go talk to these people and bring, and today your help would really make a big difference for us. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, um, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, really appreciate uh, the time and the uh, effort of all of uh, volunteers, civil volunteers that have been in involved in these programs. Uh, we have two very special folks that uh, have just made a commitment for a very interesting initiative. Um, you know, you, we, you heard those five areas of work that we do. We also have a sixth area called international projects. Uh, typically, when, when Ukraine was going through this early war, uh, we actually engaged with, uh, with the students there uh, to help rescue them from war, war zones, uh, Brazil uh, floods, um, but also COVID in India. Um, so it's in, in the context of that, that uh, international, uh, those international initiatives, we have two wonderful uh, donors who have just committed a certain amount of money. I'm going to invite them up, uh, Min, Gwen, and Tina. Uh, please come up and maybe share uh, the, uh, just very briefly what, uh, what, you're, uh, what you're focusing on. Why do you want to support Seva? <laughs> All right. Well, good evening. Well, Andrew Rock said I have 30 seconds. So anyways, um, the reason I'm here is because Guruji, um, we talk, and uh, he's about giving and helping people. And I did not know anything about Sewa before, but then we do a lot of charity for different country. So every year, we go to different countries to help mostly. The two group of people that we want to focus helping is an orphanage and also women that is basically need some help. So those are the two areas. So every year, this year, that one, the reason I got to meet Guruji is because of time for the uh, oxygen tank for India. And the group was helping about 100 something thousand, but Guruji was telling me that all that time, oh, that's great, you help a lot already. How much did you help, Guru? He said about 12 million already. And so I go, oh my God, I get to know this guy. I thought I was in something. But then today, I think that the organization helped over 50 something million. Is that correct? And so whatever that was, that uh, this coming Tuesday, we bring a group of 10 people, we are flying to New Delhi. And then uh, I think the Save International is going to open our eyes and helping us to, uh, to exp expose ourselves to the new horizon of helping people and giving back the, the, to the society. So um, this is just a little something. And I told Guru that, you know what? The true spirit of giving is that the left hand give, the right hand doesn't have to know. So you don't have a need to give me any stages. So you give me the 30 second, I think I fulfill the 30 second, brother. This is my wife. She signed the checks. So that is all there is to it, OK? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Huh? This is, this is very little, brother. <laughs> uh, $30,000. That's. <laughs> One of my dentist friends, I just said I, I need some little extra. That's the day I'm coming. Another point that is coming here, another point. That's amazing. Thank you. You know, this is, this is uh, the, the power of community coming together. There's a tagline that we have Together we serve better. It's a, it's a motto that we live by. There is not a single project that we do that is without the support of our donors, without the partnership of our partners, without the work of our volunteers. Uh, it's really uh, the community that, that does this together. So thank you so much. Just let's do a big round of applause before we invite our um, uh, next act. And I'm going to invite uh, Rakiji to introduce that. Um, yes, thank you so much, and thank you for everyone that donated, and actually for everyone that's here uh, today. Um, you know, I just want to say one thing before we get off that topic and we move to our next act, that, uh, you know, SEVA, uh, as I mentioned, has, uh, you know, 5,000 plus volunteers across the country. We have the resources, we have the skills, and we have the motivation and dedication to change the world and bring goodness into the world. We simply need a little bit of help from our donors uh, to make a big difference and to spread this positivity. So, um, you know, however much you can give, however much you can contribute would be greatly 
uh, welcomed. But the one thing I do want to mention, the one very unique thing about SEVA, given the size of this organization, not only here in the United States, but around the world, is the fact that majority of our board is actually volunteers. We have a few uh, mission-oriented staff that do things that have to happen um, on a certain schedule, uh, but everyone else works on a volunteer basis. Every dollar you donate to SEVA, 96 cents of that dollar goes towards changing the world, changing society. Uh, so I, I just wanted to mention that, and now I'm gonna introduce our, um, our next um, uh, group that's going to perform for us. Uh, a little bit of music at this time after that uh, heavy lifting. This is a performance by Dilse. Uh, it's a, one of UC Berkeley's premier Hindustani and Karnatic um, a cappella groups. Dilse, yes. I wasn't sure, yes. Oh, Dilse, there they go. The bass keeps running, running, and 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 running. Yo, Seva, let's go. In this context, there's no disrespect. So when the people rise, you push your neck. We got five minutes for us to disconnect from our intellect and let the rhythm respect. To lose this inhibition, follow your intuition. Free your inner soul and break away from tradition. Cause when we be out, these girlies pull the rebounds. Act up from northwest, east, south. Everybody, everybody, skate into it, get stupid, get it started, get it started, get it started, get it started. Pop the musical, 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 Uh, Seva for uh, inviting us to perform here. We're UC Berkeley Dilse, uh, Cal's premier South Asian acapella group. We do a fusion of Hindustani, Carnatic, and also Western music, all through acapella. Um, it's been such a pleasure 
coming here today. And I personally know the impact of SEVA and all the wonderful things that you all do as a part of this organization. And it really, truly does mean so much um, for us to be here. Um, so thank you so much for having us. Uh, we have three more songs for you today. Um, and I, we hope you enjoy.
नींद उड़ी पूरे सारे खाब करे क्या करने हैं उम्रों के बाद ये जो रहते हैं रहने ले आधे दो बार नहीं एक बार सही एक रात की कर ले तू यारी सुबह तक मां के मेरी बात तू ऐसे जोर से नाचिया घुंगरू शर्म और लाज मैसे जोर से नाची आज के घुंगरू टूट गए के घुंगरू टूट गए लाइजन ऑफ द फीन ऑल एंड विद बिगिन वकीब से प्लान स्पेन फोर्स ऑफ लव बिगिन Too far to give up who we are. So let's raise the bar and our cups to the stars. She's up all night to the sun. I'm up all night to get some. She's up all night for good fun. I'm up all night to get lucky. We're up all night to the sun. We're up all night to get some. We're up all night for good fun. We're up all night to get lucky. 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 I like the way you move. 
I said you're holding back She said shut up and dance with me This woman is my destiny She said ooh, ooh Shut up and dance with me Ooh, ooh Shut up and dance with me Thank you, they'll say. Lovely, lovely performance. Big round of applause for them. I have to tell you, I feel very rich today. There's so, so many uh, commitments that have been coming through the, throughout the, the performance as well. Um, thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to, uh, yeah, please go ahead and introduce them. Oh. Okay, so, hello? Oh. Uh, so we have actually one uh, quick um, announcement that we have a pledge of $10,000. Uh, this is from um, two in wonderful individuals that are actually also traveling to, uh, to India um, to visit the projects that are happening there. I'd like to, to give them um, uh, just a, uh, 30 seconds to just kind of say why they're supporting. Uh, you're welcome to come up here or... or oh. So uh, Penny and Ben. Yes, yes, thank you yes. so much for your donation. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you, Guru, for in inviting us here, and thank you, Sewa International. Uh, we came from Malaysia. Uh, we were a foreign student. My mom had to borrow money so I can be here to further my study. So I know how important the education is. If I never have a chance to come to get my education, we will never become who I am today. So every single year, we travel around the world, uh, 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 China, and uh, Vietnam, and then this is the first time I'm going to India. I was very impressed about Seva organization. I was very impressed about what is the thing that you've done for the whole, even the Indian during the uh, uh, COVID uh, area, that how much that you help the Indian community. So I, I have the passion to help, Then I, I will believe that financial education is everything. So thank you for allowing us to participate in that. Thank, thank you. you, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, the check going to. So the check will come to you, right? Oh, the, yeah. check, the check come to you, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. Um, so the dinner is going to get started soon. The salad plates are already making their way to your tables. Uh, there are a few folks that I would love to uh, have share there. Can we turn on the light on, in, on the floor? I'm just going to come around. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm going to come around the floor and have uh, hand over the mic uh, to each of you as I do. My, I have two questions for uh, each of you as I, as I come to you. Number one, uh, what is it that about Seva that prompts you to engage, to support? What is it that, that really um, sort of uh, makes you want to give your time, energy, support? And then second is, what is the ask that you have for the rest of the community? So I'm going to start with Ajayji because I know you, you're about to leave. Ajayji. Thank you, Anurag. My name is Ajay Bhutoria, and I work as advisor to President Biden for Asian American Pacific Islander Native Hawaiian Commission, also as Deputy National Finance Chair for DNC. I'm speaking here in my personal capacity. First, Ambassador Mark, uh, I just want to tell you that the Indian community stands strongly in support to, uh, to all my Jewish friends. Indian community stands strongly in support of the Jewish community to, in their right to defend themselves and wipe, wipe out Hamas and bring peace to the region and uh, peace on the both sides of the innocent civilians. So um, that's our firm commitment to standing strong with you. And happy Hanukkah. And uh, 
to all to my friends uh, let's give a big round of applause for suresh jain anurag uh, rakhi ji priya atul sandeep ji for doing a tremendous amount of work the word seva itself means selfless service and uh, any martin luther king said that anybody can be great and anurag and the team has been showing people how to be great by providing opportunities for selfless service when that there was covid was you know the whole world was sitting behind the home their homes in covid the uh, seva volunteers were out there either by uh, providing some free food free services mental health or you know health care services or sending out the oxygen cylinders thousands and thousands of them and they raised tons of money for countries to send it to india and to different parts of world so let's give again a big round of applause for one of the most inspirational leader in our community anurag i mean and uh, one of the things which i very get touched with seva is that he brings hundreds of youth as we saw that youth doing activities and give inspires them to be, become the leaders of tomorrow and by learning the values of s serving as selfless service which anurag personally you know has been training hundreds of youth and one of my my own son has benefited by being in touch with anurag and getting his mentorship so and with uh, other services like uh, aspire and lead aspire with over 300 uh, schools they are supporting with uh, programs for science and other programs with the lead program with the mental health and awareness program seva has tremendous opportunities for serving across different spectrum for giving back to the society feeding the homeless uh, providing opportunities job opportunities to the homeless and lot of other programs so let's give a big round of applause as well as let's open up our wallet and continue to support and the funding process for seva as much as we can do thank you so much anurag thank you thank you thank you ajay ji um i'm going to go around uh but let me quickly announce couple more a uh, few more donations that have come through uh rohan shrike $2000 from top team at verizon uh from the table of praveen dheer and friends $2000 gopak kumar ji uh from kerala bay area $2000 uh chandrayaan volleyball team $1000 anonymous $2000 um and uh, uh another anonymous $10000 um i really hope our our seva volunteers are tracking all of that and and adding that all up but because i i lost track um let me actually come to honorable ambassador uh for his comments um honorable ambassador i know you shared some of your india journey um quite quite exciting um and music as well <laughs> um could you maybe not <laughs> do you, do you want to uh, kind of build upon that and and you've seen uh, the videos you saw the testimony from sudha ji uh, you saw the energy that all our donors and supporters have any thoughts about the work we do and and how we could potentially work together with the jewish community thank you very much and good evening again um First of all I'm I'm very impressed if I may may say so uh it is uh for a change and especially in times like these uh and what the Jewish community is going through um and of course back in Israel it's nice to see uh some solidarity uh some support and I have to say that this is um something that we've experienced vis-a-vis -vis the Indian community the Indian American community here uh for a long time and it's a reflection of the relationship between india and israel i think it's a reflection of the uh inclusivity and tolerance that the indian culture is so uh known for uh let's not forget thank you let's not forget that while we are seeing these ugly expressions of antisemitism across the united states and and the world India is probably one of the only places in the world where there was never such a thing called antisemitism there was never intolerance there was never persecution Jews that lived in India for hundreds if not more years have always felt equal and always felt at home so if your work is contributing to that is if your work is towards uh more understanding between communities and support then this is an opportunity to thank you for what you're doing and also thank you for supporting the Jewish community not only every day but especially now uh in such a time of crisis standing by us 
uh, and um, you know what um, what uh, was said before resonates with me a lot. We are two very ancient people, two very ancient culture cultures, and uh, you know my as I said, my first assignment was 27, 28 years ago to to see. I mean, it's not not a surprise, right? I mean, to see how far India has gone, to 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 see how close we've also come uh, in the last 30 years. You know, we started with agriculture, and now we're we're in, in security and technology, and uh, and we're getting tighter and tighter. And the understanding also of how important it is not to let terrorism win, not to bow down to violence, and not ever, ever, to stoop down to the level of these murderers, because after all, that's what they want us to do. So fighting anti-Semitism together, fighting terrorism together, and growing together is what I hope for the two communities. Thank you. Thank you, Ambassador. Great, great remarks and, and very timely and, and resonate with uh, this audience here, of course. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to uh, give all of you time to start to dig into your salad. And I'll return to the floor again uh, once you've made enough progress with your food. Um, and we're going to have some more entertainment and some more videos uh, that we'd be playing. Um, can we uh, dip the lights a little bit in the hall and play the videos? Uh, actually, you can dim the li lights on the stage as well uh, and play the videos uh, while folks enjoy the food. Uh, uh, this is this food is from Resham, which is a well-known caterer in the Bay Area. Amazing food. I hope you really enjoy the food. Um, and uh, one last thing I'll say: on your table, you will find sheets, uh, 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 one sheet at uh, uh, each, uh, white sheet that has uh, the topic of discussion on your table. I promised you that we'll put you to work during the during lunch, dinner, dinner. Um, those topics are really important to us. These are the topics that we, engage, we are engaging on with the community. And um, uh, we hope that you discuss um, amongst yourselves um, your ideas, your, um, you know, your suggestions, and uh, uh, ways that we could move forward on those. And as, as I come around uh, you know, half an hour from now, it'll be great to hear your thoughts on that. With that, um, I'll, we'll, uh, we'll let you enjoy the food. Thank you. Supporting families affected by natural disasters requires collaborative efforts. Sailor Bay Area's disaster management team helps affected families with immediate and long-term support. We help communities recover and regain the capacity to rebuild their lives. The McKinney Fire was a destructive wildfire in the Klamath National Forest during the 2022 California wildfire season. The team put together care packages to provide immediate assistance to evacuees and first responders, made the eight-hour drive to the Klamath Forest area to provide the initial relief materials. As the survivors started to rebuild, Sewa's team was able to donate tools worth $11,500 that will be maintained as community property under the Tools Library project. Communities around Klamath River can borrow these tools from the library to help them in the rebuilding phase. The Family Services Program provides a support structure for families in urgent situations and helps to get through difficult times or crisis. The Bay Area team works in three main verticals, case management, health and wellness programs, and educational seminars and workshops. Through case management individuals and families are helped to get through difficult times of crisis by providing immediate access to information, resources, or volunteer support. Awareness and education workshops are designed to provide families tools for leading more meaningful lives. The health and wellness team encourages physical fitness and development of balanced lifestyle. Know Your Healthy Self focuses on the overall health of an individual by creating various health or fitness initiatives such as arranging regular hikes, yoga workshops, etc.
areas serve team organizations. Supporting families affected by natural disasters requires collaborative efforts. Sailor Bay Area's disaster management team helps affected families with immediate and long-term support. We help communities recover and regain the capacity to rebuild their lives. The McKinney Fire was a destructive wildfire in the Klamath National Forest during the 2022 California wildfire season. The team put together care packages to provide immediate assistance to evacuees and first responders, made the eight-hour drive to the Klamath Forest area to provide the initial relief materials. As the survivors started to rebuild, Sailor's team was able to donate tools worth $11,500 that will be maintained as community property under the Tools Library project. Communities around Klamath River can borrow these tools from the library to help them in the rebuilding phase. The Family Services Program provides a support structure for families in urgent situations and helps to get through difficult times or crisis. The Bay Area team works in three main verticals, case management, health and wellness programs, and educational seminars and workshops. Through case management individuals and families are helped to get through difficult times of crisis by providing immediate access to information, resources, or volunteer support. Awareness and education workshops are designed to provide families tools for leading more meaningful lives. The health and wellness team encourages physical fitness and development of balanced lifestyle. Know Your Healthy Self focuses on the overall health of an individual by creating various health or fitness initiatives such as arranging regular hikes, yoga workshops, etc. Areas Serve Team organizes hands-on volunteer activities to provide opportunities for families to get involved, learn new skills, and give back to the community. This promotes volunteerism and enables more people to be directly involved in humanitarian activities. The team also helps in improving the volunteer relations through monthly child save events, family picnics, etc. As part of giving back to nature, volunteers work with different organizations and help plant trees, coastal cleanups, food drives, etc. Sailor International's She Project is working towards empowering underprivileged women and girl children.
after Corona, my family is in a very bad situation, but Seva helped me to go to high school. I won six medals in state level. I'm going to this national match of help of Seva. A thanks to all and Seva International who is helping me and thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, how's the food? How's the food? <laughs> okay, I think only this table is enjoying it. So uh, I just want to mention real quick before we go into the second phase of the, the pledge drives, um, is uh, that um, you know, part of the global initiatives and the disaster relief, uh, when the Ukraine war started, the Ukraine-Russia war started, uh, we had volunteers across the border helping the refugees come out. When the second wave hit India, uh, you know, we perfected the strategy of actually figuring out what was needed by the people there to reduce panic, increase awareness, and solve, save lives. So now, even recently, actually, what we're working with, uh, and after October 7th, when the, 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 uh, the tragedy of October 7th happened, we reached out to Israel, which, who's working in Israel, to help the people that were affected by that tragedy, uh, and to see exactly what they need. And one of the things I'll just mention here was that because a lot of the Israeli doctors had actually gone to the area, that the common man was having a hard time getting um, health care and everything, and that's one of the areas, especially with our Doctors for Seva initiative, that uh, we're hoping to be able to help them with. And so that's one of the, the, one of the things I wanted to add to the global initiatives and the disaster relief services that we offer, not only here in the United States and specifically in the Bay Area, but around the world. Uh, with that, I'm going to turn it over to Anurag Ji um, to get a few more comments and uh, pledges. Thank you, Raki Ji. Uh, I'm going to do a very quick exercise here. If I can have everybody's attention. How many of you are younger than 10? Can I see a show of hands? Younger than 10? Younger than 10? Show of hands? OK. How many of you are between 10 and 20? 10 and 20 years of age? OK, quite a few of you. How many of you are between 20 and 30? 20 and 30? <laughs> Truth in advertising, Gutpalji. OK, how many of you are? Uh, below 50. Below 50? Below 50. How many of you are be between 50 and 74? 75? 50 and 75? Okay, okay. Hands down. How many of you are above 75? Above 75. There you go. Let's do a big round of applause for all our seniors who are in the, in the room. And I'm actually going to invite one of you. I'm going to invite Renuka Lewis ji. This is a special guest that we have today who has been uh, associated with SEVA as a beneficiary, as a mem member of community that we have worked very, very closely with. Um, and she's, she has something to share today. Uh, let's, let's help her up. So I'm going to hand the microphone to Renuka ji. Uh, do you want to come up here? Yeah. So uh, Renuka ji has, um, uh, Renuka ji, how long have you been uh, associated with Seva? How long back was Seva first introduced to you? Two years back, one and a half, two years back. One and a half, two years back. Um, and can you talk about how you got to know Seva? Maybe do you want to come up here? Yeah. Yeah. I, I can hold the paper for you. It's, it, that is what I want. I know, I know. I'll hold it. I'll hold it. <laughs> I can hold the water as well. No, it's okay. Okay, okay. So, um, uh, tell us about how Seva was introduced to you. First, let me wish uh, good evening and uh, happy and joyful Hanukkah to the associates, invitees. Uh, it is like a movie story. Uh, I was in a dire need of the, of the situation was that, that there was no job, no transportation. <clears throat> and uh, that is why the all the problems followed without the job. The thing was that I was co going from Fremont to Milpitas by bus, 317, and uh, I needed really the God's help. And the bus took the turn. It's a turning point like a thing. And uh, I saw the Seva International. Just 
spur of the moment, just one second or less. And I saw the Seva International sign, and I thought Seva is the Indian world. It must be Indian connected something, nighttime bus. And uh, then I called, and uh, one of the volunteers, I will say, will not name, because later on, many things happen. And then I connected, contacted them, and I said that I don't have a transportation or anything. Buses are too difficult at age of 75. I'm from Mumbai, and it is difficult for me to catch uh, the buses. And then I requested for the, if somebody wants to donate the car. And they tried, other volunteers also joined with that. And that one nice day I got the car, but before what happened, the COVID was there. And it was like the end of the, coming end of the COVID. And uh, I unfortunately uh, tested the positive. And uh, nobody wanted to even talk with you that time. You are like untouchable. Nobody wants to come close to you or see your face. Then they put me in the motel, were separated. I was secluded and then food and everything. Every day I will tell you the truth. It's a evening time and, and I will tell you that every day volunteers were, I will not say dying, but they were just hoping that I tell them I need this, I need that. Every day they were in line like that and they are coming every day, different people, what do you want to eat? What do you want? And meanwhile also survival. The survival, no money, nothing. And uh, that time also Seva International helped me to survive. And then I got the car, some, some nice gentleman donated in the Fremont, the one car of his father. And I still have that car. And because of that car, I'm still on my leg, 75 age. And uh, that's what to, that day and applause. today. That day and today. And I'm still there. But those days I will never forget that when nobody was there in that time in America, United States, Seva International, volunteers, selfless service, without any expectation, they, they helped me a lot. They helped me a lot. I will tell you nothing like that. And for that, I would like to say a few words of the, of, uh, it says that in, in Bhagavad Gita, karma theory, that they may be, may not be a famous. A true karma yogi has no ego or attachments left. So this is what they are. They are karma yogis. And then Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, he says that according to the Krishna in Bhagavad Gita, Karma Yoga is the spiritual practice of selfless action performed for the benefic benefit of others. And that's the true sense they are, they are putting in action, not only talking or just talking. I am one of the persons who helped me a lot. I am surviving because of that, because COVID was a very difficult situation alone to face. But with their moral supports and other supports, I am still here. And uh, I'm very much thankful and grateful to the Seva International for this help in the very difficult time. Very difficult time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Uh, let's do a huge round of applause for Renuka ji. Thank you. Thanks for, a lot. For, for three reasons, Renuka ji. Number one, you have such a, 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 a survival instinct and such a joy for life thank that you, you are uh, the, the it's in your voice the strength is in your voice thank you uh, you know the the willingness to seek help when it's needed um, you. and you have taught us all today I, I you know I, I'm a teacher but I've learned something today and thank that is why I touch your feet thank, thank you, you so sir. much but it's because of the Seva International that courage and that standing came to me through them sir all the volunteers and everybody uh, how many I name and the car is there I'm still having I do the cooking work. So I need a car to go place to place and all these things, different kind of vegetarian cooking. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank, oh, thank you. you. Thank you. Renika Lewis ji. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You know, so we're going we're gonna to switch this up a little bit. Uh, we did the fundraising drive earlier. That was the first round. We'll just have one more round. And, but this is going to be different. We are not going to do it the way we did earlier. That was very successful. I, I have, I'm getting a flair for it. I think I'm... I, have, I may have a, an alternative career here for me. Uh, but what we're going to do today uh, in the, during the dinner, we're going to go around the table 
we're going to have conversation. We're going to have you share, as, as we did with Ajay Ji, we're going to have you share um, your reason for being here, your reason for supporting Seva, your reason for giving your time to the community, and, and like I said earlier, uh, you know, what is your call to action uh, for everybody else? Because together, together, exactly. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go around. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to request Raki Ji to come up to your, your table. Uh, let's, in, let's invite uh, with, with the table number one here with Nandini Didi. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, namaste and shalom, shalom. <laughs> I just want to say what a humbling experience it is to have the two communities come together and Seva hosting it how symbolic the word seva in itself means to serve. And the Hindus and the Jews have been serving uh, their communities and they've been serving with the whole concept of we must live together, which speaks uh, so loudly as the ambassador so beautifully said that there's never been a history of anti-Semitism. I just wanted to share that, uh, to build on the thought that what was said earlier, what we share, the one thing both the Hindus and the Jews share is our respect and our love for our mothers. And I think that is what drives our family and I would like all of us to put our hands together and applause for our mothers. <laughs> I also wanted to thank uh, Anurag and Paranjali and uh, there are so many people that we should thank and I should thank and I, I am sorry and apologize that I don't have everybody's name, but you all know that you have worked so hard to serve the community and we are so grateful for what you do. And um, I was sharing earlier with Anurag Bhaiya that uh, Priya, who's not here because she had to go to India, she's taken a Silicon Valley delegation in biotech, medtech to Gujarat and Delhi. But she sends her best to all of you. We'll be hosting a fundraiser at our home for Seva and also for the survivors of the family of October 7th. And we will um, work with uh, the Jewish community, with the ambassador and with the Indian community, especially Seva, and making that happen. The, uh, the last thing I'd like to say is just like uh, earlier we were saying that in, in our community, we say Vasudev Kutum Kam, uh, uh, the whole universe is one family. Ambassador and our eminent Jewish uh, friends and family friends, because my sister was with the American Jewish Committee for 20 years, so all of you are extended family. There's one thing that we grew up learning from you, and it is so similar to our Hindu belief. What Hillel said, if I'm not for myself, what am I? If I'm only for myself, I may not be quoting it well, what, uh, if I'm not for myself, who is for me? If I'm uh, only for myself, then what am I? If not now, then when? And I think that's a very, very powerful message because I think if today we do not come together to stop, as we all believe is the evil that is being perpetrated, then we have only ourselves to be blamed because we will pass on the problem to our next generation. And we all know when cancer spreads, it usually takes the life of the patient before we uh, defeat cancer. Thank you. So I think it's very important. Th thank, thank you, you. Didi. That's wonderful. Well said. Um, I I'll request you. So thank you for hosting the fundraising at your home. We're going to uh, look forward to it. I would request you, all of you, I want to get to many of you. I would request you all to keep your comments brief, maybe about a minute. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, table number two, Mr. Vivek Sakdev and uh, Mr. Sanjeet Singh Dang. So Vivek ji. Oh, uh, yes. Um, yeah, it's been a, really a joy to listen to uh, all, everybody, uh, the, especially the Jewish community involvement today is special. And uh, yeah, I've been involved with uh, SEWA since the beginning, like 2003. And even before that, we had other funds like IDRF and so on. And uh, yeah, it's just that... Uh, uh, it, it feels really nice to be doing something for the society. You know, when we we are gifted and we get a lot of uh, good rewards from the society, and it's it's good to share it with others because 
they get the opportunity right we got the opportunity we come from humble background and uh, it's nice to give back and let others have the same opportunity and lastly my brother has been dedicating his life for this cause for last 42 years uh, he got padma shri his name is dr sakdev he is doing work for the tribals in kerala and uh, through seva we have been helping <coughs> so we, we have been helping through seva because they always need funds like he started the hospital and then we have started schools and lots of programs for the tribals and uh, their upliftment so uh, thank yeah thank you for giving me the chance and i hope you can all uh, you know you're all here to contribute and i appreciate that and let us continue that effort thank you thank you before i invite sanjit singh ji thank you sanjit singh ji round of applause for that uh, before i invite sanjit singh ji um, actually a couple of updates uh, and, and by the way the fundraising is continuing so continue to pledge uh, we have dr archana niar uh, 1k um, vmware friends is $3000 and reema niar ji for $250 and uh, let's do a round of applause for that. There is something else, and this is an anonymous donor who has been giving to Seva uh, to the tune of a million dollars per year last few years. And he has just committed um, for, and I, I won't name the name, but uh, for the next three to five years at least, a similar level of support for similar projects in India. So a huge round of applause for that. Um, it's more than the amount. It's the it's the commitment and uh, and you know the spirit of working together. Sanjit Singh ji, you get the, get the chance to share your thoughts. Thank you, Rakhi ji. Thank you, Anurag ji, for uh, number one uh, inviting me and introducing this Seva organization to me uh, almost a year ago now. Thank you for that, and thank you also for having my son and me as keynote uh, speaker last year. That was an enriching experience for us as well. And uh, for us, I think, uh, for, for me particularly, the concept around youth empowerment, especially the after-school programs, and secondly, the disaster relief in community uh, for community impact, those are two programs that uh, resonated the most with me. Uh, I also want to say uh, um, uh, a few words to our Jewish friends. Um, I actually have been to the JCC, this center, many times over the past 10 years. Uh, for several events and other interactions. So I, I, and I've enjoyed all of those interactions over the years as well, especially for the ICON conference that is held every year here in November timeframe. So I've been attending that for 10 years. So I've actually been very impressed by what JCC has done, not just for the Jewish community, but for the broader community. And I think that's something for us as an Indian community to learn from as well. So it's a two-way street. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Sanjeet Singh ji. Um, actually, uh, I, I, you know, the donation that Anurang ji just mentioned, I just want to mention that it was actually Sachin ji that uh, he didn't, I, we wanted to make sure that we acknowledge. Sorry. OK. Do you want to stand up, Sachin ji? I, I wasn't sure I was supposed to mention the name. That's why I didn't. Thank you so much. Um, actually, I'm, I'm going to come to you in a minute. But let me invite Suresh ji. Uh, in 30 seconds, Suresh ji, do you want to share uh, your thoughts on the place where we are doing this event and then AmeriCorps partnership that we have? Uh, I know you have some thoughts on that. Yeah, uh, my name is Suresh Jain and uh, I am board member for Seva International. I come here to express our sincere gratitude and thanks for all the hard work volunteers put throughout the year. Join me giving a big round of applause to all the volunteers and Bay Area Seva team. They have been really phenomenal. Imagine our Seva team in Bay Area is pretty much average age of 35 to 38 years. At this age, running a family, building a career, doing a job, are the primary objectives. But each SEVA volunteer throughout the year spends hundreds of hours for this selfless cause. What drives them, what motivates them is your cooperation, your collaboration, your support, and I'm very thankful that. I'm also thankful for the ambassador coming and joining the evening. It's really very encouraging and we look forward to working together. 
and Anurag ji wanted uh, me to say just very briefly, AmeriCorp. I'm very proud to say, Seva International is the only ethnic organization, the kind of funding we have received in last five years from the AmeriCorp. Since majority of us are people of Indian origin, we need to think it is an opportunity to create a legacy. It is an opportunity to build our neighborhoods. It is an opportunity to support the people who have given us this American dream, this society. So let us join in celebrating the success of AmeriCorp and making it an independent, standalone program in Bay Area. Thank you very much, everyone, for coming. And thank you very much for Seva team. Thank, thank you, Sureshji. I'll have two more comments from that table uh, before we do our Seva Excellence Award and the PVSA Award. And then we'll, we'll continue this conversation. So let me invite uh, Sachinji and then Rajuji very quickly. Very briefly, if you could share your thoughts on why you are supporting Seva. Um, and uh, where do you see the future uh, of our engagement with it? All right, uh, great evening. Uh, thank you, folks. So uh, the reach of SEVA, in, not just in the U.S., also in India, has been uh, unmatched compared to any other organization I've uh, talked to and uh, come to know. Uh, COVID, for example, during COVID, there were uh, in villages, uh, every city, uh, every neighborhood that needed help, uh, SEVA had massive reach. Uh, again, unmatched anywhere else. So I think that kind of reach uh, is phenomenal. The other big factor is probably the only large organization that has very, very low expenses. Like as they said before, 96 cents for every dollar donated goes to the actual cause, uh, which is awesome. Like I would like more of our money to go to the actual causes. And so uh, that's very helpful. Uh, in the US, they keep uh, coming up with new and innovative programs like the Aspire program, which helps the underprivileged people and kids here. Everyone deserves an opportunity, and so those kinds of things uh, keep us motivated uh, to help and continue this organization. Thank you. Thank you, Sachinji. Thank you. Let, me, let me just, before I uh, request Rajuji as, as a last comment before we start the awards, uh, can, can I request all SEVA volunteers to please stand up? Because the 96% uh, funding going to projects, only 4% toward administrative expenses, would not be possible without the volunteering time. Every single volunteer, please stand up. Please stand up. Don't be bashful. Everyone, please stand up. All SEVA volunteers. All youth volunteers as well. Please stand up. Thank you. Thank you so much for your work. That's what allows us to scale the impact that we do. Thank you. Thank you. So, Rajuji, you get the last word before we uh, do the UR awards. Yeah, thank you, Anurag. Uh, you know, my, my quick thought, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of anything that I can add that was not said earlier. Uh, one thing that I always felt, whether it is a for-profit organization or a not-for-profit, it really comes down to the leadership, the quality of the leadership, and the organization ability to attract and nurture great talent. And the talent in this case is the volunteers that just stood up right now, right? So I think on those two fronts, Seva does an outstanding job. And unparalleled, I know my friend Jayan Somani was the previous president, and then we moved on to Anurag Myril now. Just look at the quality of the leadership we have. So big shout out to all the volunteers and the leadership team of Seva. Thank you. Thank you, Rajuji. Um, I, we, I have a longer list of folks that I want to come back to, but let's actually start the awards. Let's invite uh, uh, Guruji up on the stage, and I'm, I'm going to hand it over to Rakhiji to for this phase. Rakhiji, <laughs> Guruji. Yeah. So I, I, I'm, I think many of you know that Guru Prasadji is the uh, uh, the Bay Area. Um, chapter coordinator, um, and he's going to present two uh, awards. One is the SEVA Excellence Award, and the second is uh, the PV PVSA Certificate. Um, I'll turn it over to him to explain and, and present. Um, can I invite um, Suresh Ji to come on stage to give this award? Yeah. So Anurag ji has two, three, multiple jobs. One of them is holding this mic for me. Give me a big, big round of applause. He's so busy, but he said, I'll hold the mic for you. And uh, actually, I have the luxury of, uh, actually, Anurag ji and uh, 
uh, Rocky G did all the hard job. I have the easy job, uh, which is congratulating, thanking people who do a good job. Um, I want to talk about, I think, so how many of you know about Seva Excellence Award? On the PBSC certificate. See some hands? Yeah. So Seva Excellence Award is a highly prestigious. I see uh, uh, Anjali Ji, who is one of our recipients in the last time, yep. also lifting her hand. Okay. So Seva Ex uh, Excellence Award is a very prestigious, one and only award that Seva recognizes someone who has done something oh, unique, uh, something very appreciate, appreciated in the community. Doesn't have to be with Seva. So that we recognize, and it's been a tradition for a long time. And usually we take several nominations for that from our community. And uh, this time it's um, unanimously selected for, um, I want to say the name correctly, April, April J. Rovero. Can you please come on the stage, please? And uh, uh, she is coming here. She is the executive director of NCA PDA in recognition of her outstanding service to the community. I would like Suresh Ji to uh, give this honor to her. Suresh Ji. Well, I, I just want to say a huge thanks. Um, this has been a really enlightening evening. I knew that SEVA was a wonderful organization just in the, the work that I've done over the last five or so years, but tonight I've learned about even more than I knew about before. I'm so impressed with the fact that we've gathered the Jewish community, community together uh, along with the Indian community. I didn't know that you had so much in common and so, such support between, and that's just amazing to hear. I've been so dismayed personally about what's going on in, in Israel, and this is just so refreshing to know that we can get along and supportive of each other, and you're a model, really, for what could be done on a broader level here in our country. So uh, thank you so much for this honor. I'm just really uh, taken. I, I had no idea this would be a possibility. I didn't know about the honor, and I am incredibly honored to, to be here and to accept your award. Hey, Thank you for you everything you do. you do. Yeah, I sure can. So I want to say that 14, this is really kind of ironic, 14 years ago today, my son went to a doctor in Los Angeles, and he was prescribed medications that nine days later he died from. They were prescription meds that included central nervous system depressants like sedatives, muscle relaxants, and opioids. Um, he was a college student about ready to graduate from Arizona State University when we got that call that no parent wants to get on the 18th of December, letting us know that he'd been found in his off-campus apartment where he's living with you know, some friends. And the bottom line is um, we learned that um, he had passed away from a prescription drug-related overdose. We were completely unaware of the dangers of these medications. We had no experience with them. As we started talking to, and of course, we, we were just open about what happened to him from the very beginning. It's like, we could not believe this. There's no, no history of abuse that we were aware of at all. And all of a sudden, he's just gone from our lives. So the bottom line is, my, I was compelled to start the NCAPDA. It's a national coalition against prescription drug abuse. And so I started educating literally one month after Joey passed away. Uh, just talking to parents, talking to young people. And I so appreciate the fact that Sebo has given me an opportunity to outreach to, to young people and parents that I wouldn't have otherwise had the opportunity to share my personal story with, but even more importantly, to share the educational information that we go into schools all over the Bay Area and beyond. Uh, we talk to parents. We talk to anybody who will listen. So I just want to invite you. I'm sitting over at table number two. So if anybody is interested in having presentations and our team out there to help educate about prescription drug safety, but now, of course, it's fentanyl safety because we've got these fake pills out there. One pill can take a life, and uh, it's happening to all sorts of people. It doesn't matter who you are. You're not safe from this stuff, so thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, April. Really appreciate it. April Romero. Yeah. I want to say one thing about April Roboro. She is a part of SEVA. She comes and does several workshops to our team several times. She's here so many times helping our community for, with her workshops. Thank you very much, Roboro.
Let me now invite uh, Honorable Ambassador uh, to come up here for our next set of awards. Uh, he'll appreciate this. This is the next generation. Uh, I know he cares about quite a bit about that. Um, Guruji. So um, this is, an, you know, when I joined Seva about, I would say, seven, eight years back, I've been active. One of the main reasons I joined Seva is, you know, we come, uh, you know, we, a person of my age, you can guess my age, we know what poverty is, we know what, um, you know, richness is. We, we come from a different background, actually from India. My case, our <laughs> Uh, I, I didn't frame this, I didn't frame this, uh, I didn't pay anybody, but um, I was just going to say, um, you know, um, our next generation has to feel the empathy. I'm sure they're going to be good doctors, good engineers, they, I'm sure they're going to be good, but giving that empathy in them, developing that empathy in them is very, very, uh, you know, important, and we started a lot of youth programs, and one of the things is, how do we get our next generation to do, you know, community service work, and I'm very, very happy to recognize uh, you know, we got, uh, I would say, um, PVSA award. How many people know about PVSA award? Yes, yes. Only adults know about it. Kids don't know? Yeah, it is a, a presidential volunteer service recognition award the from the president. And SEVA is one of the organizations that are, you know, that we can submit our, uh, our nominations and then based on the number of hours they get under certain levels. Uh, so I would like to, we, this year, we got 38, give them a big hand, 38 <laughs> PVSA awards. And most of them have done at least 100 hours, minimum of 100 hours of service. And we're very happy to get, we're very happy to get that and get them on the stage. And I would like the ambassador to uh, hand over the, uh, you know, give to them. So you want me to read this? Anuga Ashok. I will be reading the name. Please keep going. Stand here in, uh, because of time. Anai Takalapalli. Anish Maliwaya. Gaurav Agarwal. Mahika Kati, Kati, Kataria, Maya Nair, Min M. Dang, uh, Rishi Shidhar, Rushai Lad, Sharanya Kesala, In this lesson, Shavnak Jog, yeah. Shavnak Jog, Sandan Karthik. You can do form two lines, I think. Yeah, Sandan Karthik, Shriram Karthik, Vihan Nayak, Vishnu Rao. Sanvi Karkekar, Sandeep Karkekar's daughter. Diva Shah, she is not here, she just left. Thank you very much and give them a big hand. All the parents, this is your opportunity. Parents, this is your opportunity to take a unique opportunity for all these 18 kids who are on the stage. Amazing work from all these kids. In spite of their school work, they go and do service every week, whether packing food or you know gardening, whatever it is, needs from the committee. They sign up and they have done minimum of 100 hours, and many of them have done a lot more. Give them a big round of applause. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Uh, please. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much. You're for kidding, it was fun. <laughs> it was a little Thank bit you. of exercise. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
<laughs> this is one of the lead leads here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Honorable Ambassador, for doing that. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Uh, so now we have a short entertainment uh, for you. This is uh, it's called Drumming to Make a Difference by the Oakland Taeko Group. Uh, actually, I didn't know what that was until I looked it up. It's actually uh, it's a very exciting modern art, art form that has its origins in the religious ceremonies and folk festivals of Japan. The Oakland Taiko Group, are they up here? Yes, can we get, request the screen? Can we uh, please uh, move up the screen? They're not up here. Yeah. Oh. oh, yes. Thank you.
that calls for a huge applause. Thank you so much. Do you want to make some comments? Hi, everyone. Uh, we're very honored to be here tonight. Um, we are o a few members of Oakland Tyco, and uh, we were asked to add some joy and energy uh, for your evening. Um, we know that you do a lot of important and very serious work, and uh, we are also a community organization. However, we are focused mostly on the joy part, so we're happy to share that with you. Uh, Tyco is known for high energy, uh, but of course it's music, so uh, in the next song, uh, we hope that you can identify the spooky part <laughs> for contrast. Um, we're going to do a little bit of audience participation later and layer in a few more comments uh, to connect uh, with, with tonight's event. But I'll just say that uh, the tradition of Tycho goes back centuries and even millennia to some degree. But it's also a modern art. It's a fusion, starting with the influence of jazz in Japan about 75 years ago. And uh, we, we, we uh, practice and perform, and we teach uh, Tycho in the Bay Area. We're specifically in Oakland. Uh, and we have you know, traditional values of respect, um, a lot of practice our attitude, and bringing the energy. So uh, we hope you enjoy the next song, and I'd like you to just think ahead. We're gonna be looking for three volunteers to come up on stage and kind of have fun and maybe embarrass themselves for a moment with us. So if you wanna try that, be ready.
Me? Okay, so that looks easy, right? No, everything, everything is based on practice, right? If you want to accomplish something, which is what you're all here for tonight. You put together a lot of planning, yeah. and you practice, you work together, you build teams, you have a plan, you practice again. It doesn't go right the first time. So do we have three volunteers? In the yes. In the interest of time, can we get it? We're running out of time. Uh -huh. yeah. So let's see. Actually, in the interest of time, we're going to cut this part short. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're gonna get this shot, okay? Uh, because we we do have to transition to the next uh, do you want part. Us to of do one more thing or no? uh, I think we should. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for the opportunity, and see you next time. Thank you. for not being able to finish that, uh, but uh, amazing group. Uh, we are running about 20 minutes behind. Uh, we are supposed to end the session. Can we have the hall light on? And um, just a little bit more. Uh, just one last set of uh, uh, comments before we do vote of thanks. And then we have a major dance party after that. So please get your dancing shoes on. Be ready. We have an amazing Bollywood dance group coming up. And then we're going to pull everybody. If you don't want to dance, you can run away. But please don't. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to take the opportunity to make uh, uh, announce a few names and then ask one particular uh, individual to um, say a few words. Um, can I have these folks stand up on table 6, Vijay ji, uh, table, table 18, Uma Shankar ji, table 18, uh, Bala ji, uh, Vijay Saraf ji, Chandrasekhar, Chandrasekhar Vag ji, Uttara ji, Murli Chirala ji, Ramesh Konda ji. Can you please all stand up, if you're still in the room? Please all stand up. I wanted to come to you to, for your comments, but we don't have time for it. We will have another opportunity. But let me um, end with uh, one special visitor, uh, Margarita Haramela, who is um, a Seva uh, Karyakarta from uh, Latin America. She's going to share uh, a few things about her work with Seva and her experiences. Margarita. So hi to everybody. I'm very glad to meet all these people here. Um, we have a program in Colombia in the Andean region in a slum area with children, which is an educative program that comes from India. It's a jewel that was given by Sai Baba to the world. And we have been very lucky to be sponsored for several years by SEBA. And thanks to that, we have been working with these children uh, in very difficult situations and also with uh, natives from the north of the country, from the Sierra Nevada, Santa Marta. I would invite you all to come to Colombia to visit these places and to do some seva with us over there. And I would like, if you excuse me, to show you how we find the funds. Uh, Actually, what we usually do, and I'm very happy to see that Ganesh is over there. So when we have a need, we just sing. Llévame, Sai Baba, de tu mano hoy. 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 Something like that. All right, that, that brings us to the end of the program. Vote of thanks. Uh, let me, uh, first of all, thank all of the SEVA volunteers. They work day and night to make this program successful. Can we hear a huge round of applause for all of them? Um, you know, I was traveling in India and Thailand when all of this preparation was going on, and I just had the pleasure of being involved in it towards the last three or four days and be up here, but I'm really representing all of their work. And it's really a privilege to, to, be, uh, to be working along the, alongside these volunteers, so thank you. We also have uh, a number of media folks um, in the audience who captured today's event. I'm gonna be reporting on it, Dia TV and uh, India uh, Current. Um, can, can you please all stand up from your organizations and of course PTI, um, if you could stand up. Um, folks that are representing uh, these organizations. 
also want to thank uh, our caterers, our decorators, all our vendors. They were, they've been amazing. Uh, food has been great. Um, the decoration has been amazing. This is probably the best decoration we've had at Seva event. Would you agree uh, uh, um, with, with that, Seva, Seva volunteers? Yeah? So thank you. Thank you for all of that. And um, uh, last but not the least is Rajesh Shastriji, who was the uh, orchestrator of this whole thing. Rajesh, you are up there, I know. Just let's do a huge round of applause. On behalf of Guruji the, and all the other coordinators and myself, I just want to thank you for being here. All of you deserve a lot of credit and gratitude for being here, opening up your wallets, opening up your heart. Your time and your resources, your energy are really valuable to us. Money is important, but your, your uh, connections, your introductions, and your um, skills and, and expertise uh, go even farther. So please stay engaged. Uh, and look forward to working with you in year 2024 as well. With that, Dhanavad. Thank you. Uh, so we uh, will cl conclude today's event with the Shanti Mantra. This is a, ma a mantra, I'll just tell you the meaning first and then um, whoever knows it can, can say it with me. But the meaning is, may all become happy, may, all, may none fall ill, may all see auspiciousness everywhere, may none ever feel sorrow. Om, peace, peace, peace. So whoever knows it can say it with me. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashantu Ma Kaschid Dukkha Bhave Om Shanti 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 Om. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. So that ends the formal part of the program. I want to say thank you to uh, Rocky G, my partner in crime in, in today's adventure here. Um, should we introduce the dance group and then? Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> and get everybody <laughs> else. Yeah, we're not done Let's yet. clear up the floor here. Uh, are we, is the dance group ready? Uh, yes. OK, awesome. So please. <laughs> OK. So uh, the dance, uh, the, the, the uh, entertainment that we have right now for you is a dance by the San Jose State University Sahara. I want to have a special thanks to Dr. Anurag Mairav. He just came from India last night, day before yesterday, just for this. His family is still in India. Amazing. We would not have done this. You know, he has been our part, heart, and soul of Seva, what we do on a daily basis. On behalf of all of us at Seva, we want to thank Anurag Ji. Give him a big hand, please. <laughs>